water skiing does, it gets me out of the chair. It doesn't make me feel disabled at all. Very quickly after I got on the water, I realized that, that I got to check my disability at the dock. When it comes down to fun and traveling and, and doing something, yeah, I, I live to do this water sport. Being out on the water provides you the freedom again. You can have your imagination just run wild at what you can do on the skis. I feel like I'm doing things that most people in the world can't do. That exhilarating feeling of, of just flying, that's a feeling like no other, and I get that from water skiing. performance program for Water Ski Waveboard Canada's Worlds team is that after the 2017 Worlds, we took all the skiers that got our points for our fourth place finish there, and they became our national team. We had a prospect camp last year right here in Central Florida, and we brought in quite a few different skiers from across Canada, and we had a number of those skiers skied their way onto the team. What we're doing now is we're actually fine-tuning everybody and getting them to understand what's required to compete at the world level, both technically and mentally, to prepare them for the 2019 Worlds, which is this July in Norway. We've placed fourth the last four Worlds, which is the best Canada's ever done. To win a medal, you have to place first, second, or third. So we're looking for a medal. I was hurt in 2007. I was in a motor vehicle accident, me and a couple buddies, uh, we rolled my truck. As a result of that, I was a T4 incomplete paraplegic. I was introduced to water skiing uh, from a very close friend of mine. I was just kind of sitting on the couch feeling sorry for myself kind of thing. There was one day, he's like, you know what, we're doing a give it a go day of water skiing. You're going. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you you're going. I'm so grateful for the fact that he did because it's changed my life. When I first started, I didn't know what to expect. Any stressors that I had in my life, I got to leave at the dock and I got to go and, and do my thing and there was nothing that was holding me back while I was out there. Water skiing gets the ticker going a little bit quicker than everything else again. So I was injured May 8th, 2010 and left me a T6 paraplegic. I pretty much have no feeling from about my chest uh, down. Did a little bit of water skiing before I was hurt, and I watched a guy named Pete Andrews go out and ski. It just seemed like it was a sport that I wasn't like any other sport. Three days after I got out of the hospital, I got a membership with the Saskatoon Water Ski Club and started skiing. It's a freeing experience. It doesn't make me feel disabled at all. I feel like I'm doing things that most people in the world can't do. Um, I like things that get my heart pumping, that adrenaline, that speed, that exhilarating feeling of, of just flying. That's a feeling like no other, and I get that from water skiing. After a week of uh, different doctors and specialists, I learned that um, I had a tumor growing on my spine. So within a week, I went from walking, doing all the sports I ever dreamed of doing, to being in a wheelchair, taking chemo. It took about four or five years for me to finally accept it and move on and actually start living a happy life again.
As an adaptive water sports athlete, I got involved after a trip to uh, Wakestock where I met this guy named Danny Hampson, a professional wake skater. Got invited to go down to Florida and uh, try out the board. First time I got up, never looked back, just kept riding and pushing it. Ten years later, I've got a world championship uh, under my belt, a couple national championships. I absolutely needed to pass the torch on. After that it was passed to me, the first guy that ever contacted me, I had him come down to the local wakeboard park and he tried out my setup and he lived quite far away and he wanted one so I actually gave him that cage to take with him and I gave him the same deal. I said, man, I got this handed to me, I'm going to hand it to you and I'd love for you to hand it to somebody else. And that's actually what happened with it. So yeah, passing the torch means a lot. I'm a T9, T10 para, paralyzed about a year ago. I got into water skiing a little bit last summer, Nolan and Dave got me introduced to it and then they invited me out here and I was excited right away. This water skiing's become the thing that I get excited about now. Very first time I skied adaptive, I couldn't get the smile off my face. It's something different than hockey. It's a summer sport, which I never really did before, and it's all on me. The work I put in, I get back. I've been progressing really quickly. It's been amazing. The coaches down here with Dave and Lisa have been unreal. Last day, I got the 360. After trying for so many days to hit that, and you finally get it. This is the greatest feeling of accomplishment. Life is definitely not over. I want to take it as far as possible. National and world championship. You get to go out there and have fun. You just get to get creative, you know? I got involved in Regina, Saskatchewan when one of my friends had been doing it for a long time had asked me to come out and try it. So I went out to the Have A Go Day and did it a couple times and just loved it because I had been doing water sports before I got hurt and kind of got me back being on the water and being kind of free and being able to just do stuff. It gives me more independence and be able to do things that I used to be able to do that I no longer could do, but now I can do them again with my friends and just go back out there and feel more normal, I guess, really. I live in Nova Scotia, and I have what's called through policy, which is we only have like half my brain um, works at one point. I came into this only being able, with two side gears, being able to go straight ahead, and that was it. And now I'm hands down, doing it on my own, going side to side. I love going fast. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I got to meet all kinds of people. Teach me a lot of uh, about, uh, water skiing. Um, I learned a lot of new tricks. Um, it was pretty cool. I met a very wonderful group of people at dinner one night by surprise. I was uh, standing with my crutches and was approached by Dave who said, hey, would you like to come out and join us and try some skiing? And I went, that's an interesting concept. And my girlfriend said, yes, he would. <laughs> that's how I ended up out here having a wonderful time. I was involved in a motorcycle car accident. I was on the motorcycle and uh, my leg was torn off. It wasn't cleanly amputated. It took about five months after the accident for my skin to actually heal. My hobby was grabbing my camera and taking off on the motorcycle and going taking pictures. I lost that, I lost the motorcycle. You have to forget everything else and focus on what you're doing, which is what motorcycling did. Being out on the water provides you the freedom again, and it puts you in a different state of mind. It brings an inner peace. For the last couple of years, there's been something missing, and the last couple of days and being out on the water and being with um, everybody here has just been a wonderful experience that I just can't wait to repeat over and over again. I've been water skiing now for 14 years. I'm a three event water skier, uh, slalom trick and jump. Jumping is my favorite event. Came to practice here for two weeks. Can't wait to start the rest of the season. This will be my fifth world I've ever been to. I'm pumped and I can't wait. Ryan Reel has been with the program since the 2007 Worlds. When he first came to us, we had a day for just for blind people in Saskatchewan. We took him for two or three skis and he did extremely well. We were packing up at the end of the day and he says, uh, okay, what time tomorrow? 
at the time he had no vision and he had decent hearing. But today, during this camp, he's totally blind and he has no hearing at all. Communication for Ryan has to be with spelling one letter at a time on his hand. And the only way that we can respond, quite frankly, is either yes or no. Is it difficult? Yes. Is it a challenge? Yes. Are we getting somewhere? I think so. He landed uh, the longest jump for blind people at U.S. Nationals last year, which qualified him to compete at these worlds in Norway. So if he lands that jump again, he's going to be in a position for a medal, and that's what we need. When I started riding with other guys in chairs, you know, we were very proud um, of what we were doing. Uh, we were told we were inspiring people. But when I got here to this water ski camp, not only was riding with guys in chairs, but uh, we have a girl here, Esther, she's blind, and Ryan, which is actually blind and deaf. He smiles and laughs at the little jokes that we can get across to him. These guys are the real inspiration. There's a special place in hell for all of us. Oh, I'm going to hell. Look at the smile on his face. Oh, he's happy. It, it was a life-changing trip for me, absolutely.